I believe it's very important whether you have an in-ground pool or above-ground pool that you need to have some type of safety barrier. Not everyone is able to swim. If you want to have fencing, you want to make sure that the fencing has a self latch um, on it so that way it closes automatically and you also want to make sure that that gate is opening outwards, not inwards. Chain link fences I know are not something that's approved for homes with pools. Kids can get their hands and feet in that chain link fence very easily. If the child really wants to, they're gonna make their way to the pool. They are very smart and they're very clever when it comes to getting what they want. Even if you think you have a great security system for your pool or barrier for your pool, there's still always that one chance that one child's a little bit more clever and can figure out how to get in. They do have the cool new inventions of being able to have an alarm for water. Once it gets hit or there's any type of movement on the water, the alarm sets it off. I know that there's also wristbands that they have out now where people can have their child wear a wristband and if they go past a certain area or if it gets wet, it notifies. So there's a lot of cool technology out there that helps with water safety. Anyone who has a personal pool and you have small children, I would recommend to get these type of devices because you're not able to see your children at all times. Children are able to stay, escape from you. And no matter how many type of safety precautions we make, there's always a chance that something could happen. And, whether, and having that little bit of extra protection on your children would be better.